Yo, we're finding the slope using two points. Uh, in today's video, you should get some paper out. You should take some notes. See if you can follow along with me as I said to the problem. Fun fact, I recorded this video already and the camera wasn't on. <laughs> Math with the speed. Math with the speed. There's a thousand other places that you'd rather be. But you're watching Math with the speed. Find the slope given to points. Okay, first you're going to identify y1, y2, x1, x2. You're going to plug them into the formula. You're going to subtract and you're going to simplify. It's just that easy. <clears throat> so we know that when we're doing uh, ordered pairs, the first letter is always x, the second letter is always y. So the first point, like negative 12x, uh, negative 12x, negative 12 comma negative 5, that's point 1, and then 0 comma negative 8, that's point 2. Um, so when we label them, y2, y1, x2, x1, always going to look like that, okay? So then you plug them into the formula. Notice I made them color coded for you. So Y2, the pink matches that pink right there, okay? So the number that's gonna go into Y2 is negative eight. Minus, you always put the minus there. That black minus has to come into the problem. And then if the number is negative, like the five, you also bring the negative or the minus that's with the five into the problem, okay? So over zero X2, is zero minus negative 12. The minus is from the formula and the negative is from the 12. You have to bring both into the problem. But now what we need to know is, is we need to know minus minus turns into a what? Minus minus turns into a positive. Um, and then minus minus on the bottom turns into a positive. So now I can simplify. Negative eight plus five is gonna give me negative three over 0 plus 12 is going to give me 12. What number goes into 3 and 12? Well, that would be a 3, right? So when I simplify that, I'm going to get negative 1 over 4. That is your slope. Okay? So now let's move on to example number 2. Numero dos. We have to label what's y2, what's y1, what's x2, what's x1. Y2 is negative 16, Y1 is 6, X2 is negative 15, and X1 is 19, baby. So now we're going to pull them into the formula. So Y2 is pink, so the pink number is going to be negative 16, and then negative 6 is, I mean, not negative 6, minus 6 is going to be Y1. Look, the minus came from the formula. The 6 did not have a minus on it. It's a positive 6, so we just brought it into the formula just like that. So then we're going to do negative 15 as x2, and we're going to do minus a 19. There's just, a, that's it, okay? So that's going to give me negative 22 over negative 34. And so I have to ask myself what number goes into 22 and what number goes into negative 34. That would be simplifying by 2. So I'm going to simplify the fraction by 2. I'm going to get negative 11 over negative 17. But... Look at those two negatives. What should I do with those two negatives? I should definitely simplify them because negative over negative actually is a positive. So my final answer is positive 11 over positive 17. You don't want to leave the negatives on your answer. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go ahead and what you're going to do example three and four. We're going to label, okay? We go and label. So we're going to label x, y, y2. It's negative 15, y1, negative 20, x2, negative 18, x1 is negative 18. I'm going to get negative 15 minus negative 20. I'm going to get negative 18 minus negative 18. What happens to the minus minus, guys? It turns into a positive. Good job. So, um... Negative 18 minus minus turns into a positive. So on top, I'm going to get negative 15 plus 20. And what is that going to give me? 5. Negative 18 plus 18 is going to give me 0. 
5 over 0 equals undefined. Anytime you have a 0 on the bottom, not the 0 on the top, the 0 on the bottom, the 0 on the bottom is going to give you undefined as your final answer. Do not put 5 over 0 as your answer. Put undefined. That's the answer. Okay? So now we're going to do number 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay, so we're going to uh, label y2, y1, x2, x1, and we're going to plug them into the equation. So we're going to get negative 10 minus negative 4, and then we're going to get negative, 20, negative 12 minus 20. What happens to the minus minus that's on the top there? It's going to turn into a positive. Very good, honey. Very good. Okay? Um, so now we need to simplify the fraction, right? Negative 6 over negative 22. So when I simplify that fraction, what number goes into both of those? Did you say 2? Very good. Honey, very good. Um, that's Tabitha Brown. Honey, very good. Very good Mondays. No? Anybody? <laughs> So then I would simplify, and what, what happens to a negative over a negative? It definitely turns into a positive, right? So that's going to be positive 3 over 11. You don't need to write the plus sign, but I wrote it just because, you know, we're learning. Okay, um, example 5 and 6. Is this my last slide? Oh, my gosh. Y'all got to do these on your own. Okay, first I want you to label um, y2, y1, x2, x1. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Okay, so when you label them, you should have labeled like this. So you should have labeled uh, y2 as 12, y1 negative 18, x2 11, x1 is going to be 12. Okay, so now I want you to plug them into the equation on your own. I'm going to give you 10 seconds. Hopefully when you plug them in, you got 12 minus negative 18 over... 11 minus 12. So now I'm going to give you another 10 seconds to see if you can simplify. So do the addition. Pay attention to those negative signs on the top. The minus minus, what happens? Okay, 10 seconds. Okay, so you're going to get 30 over negative 1. Minus minus turns into a plus, right, on top. So 12 plus 18 is 30. 11 minus 12 is negative 1. So now I'm going to simplify 30 over negative 1, and that's going to give me negative 30 as my answer. Yes. Okay, now I want you to try number 6 all by yourself. You're going to label, you're going to plug it into the formula, and you're going to simplify your answer. So you should pause the video. I'm going to stare here for a little bit. My ring light is bright. <laughs> Why was my mic closed? Why are you doing that? Ribbon. Anyway, so um, hopefully you paused the video. You should get those labels. You should have plugged in negative 18 minus. Negative 18, you should have got 15 minus negative 20. Remember, your negative negative turns into a positive. So you should have gotten on top 0 and 5. When the zero's on the top, what do you get? Zero! Zero slope, which means that's a horizontal line. But it's another note, another, another topic for another day. <laughs> Okay, guys, so your final answer should have been zero. Um, that's the end of this lesson, short and sweet. Um, I hope that you go back through, see if you can do the examples on your own.